it's so good to see you. Hi, it's been a while since I've seen Bridget. What's going on with the baby? Well, I took her to the groomer, and I think that they may have gotten some soap in her eyes, because this left one is really red, and it just seems to be bothering her. When were you last at the groomer, and when did you first start noticing eye problems? I was at the beauty shop about six days ago, and I only started noticing problems last night. Hmm. I agree with you that eye does look a little bit red and inflamed. If you look at the tissue up here, the whites of the eyes, the vessels seem to be a little bit enlarged. If you look at the cornea, that clear part in front, it's a little cloudy, and that pupil is dilated. Yeah. So, what's wrong with her eye? And do you think the groomer did it? Well, it's possible the groomer may have accidentally gotten some soap in there, but since she was there six days ago, it seems like it should have caused her problems way before last night. I can't tell you for sure until I do some special tests, but I'm afraid she may have something like glaucoma going on. I thought only old people got glaucoma. I mean, you mean to say that Bridget can have it? Well, glaucoma is a buildup of pressure inside the eye. It can happen to cats or it can happen to dogs. They don't have to be old. There's two basic types, primary, and those are the pets that are genetically predisposed. Sharpays, Arctic breeds, some Spaniels, and then you have secondary, and that's after an eye trauma, like a luxated lens or tumors in the eye. Oh my goodness, well, aren't there other things that could cause her eye to be red? Sure, she could have conjunctivitis, which is inflammation of the tissues around the eye, or uveitis, and that's inflammation of the chambers inside the eye itself. Well, how do we find out exactly what's wrong with her eye? Well, what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to put a couple drops in her eye to anesthetize it. Oh, good baby. So then I'm going to take her back to treatment and do a special pressure test. Okay. Um, but when my grandmother had glaucoma, mm -hmm. they just gave her medication. Can we do the same? Well, medication can help, but we typically find that surgery is going to be best. So if those pressures are elevated, I'm going to recommend that you go see a veterinary ophthalmologist for a second opinion. Oh, I'm glad I brought her in. I do. Well, I was just going to watch it for the next few days, but um, I'm just afraid to ask. Um, will she go blind? Well, not all pets who have glaucoma will go blind, but about 40% of them, no matter what you do, will lose their sight. And about 50%, if they have it in one eye, will get it in the other within a year's time. Sight is precious. Help to safeguard your pet's vision. If you notice an eye problem, make an appointment to see your veterinarian immediately. I'm Dr. Bernadine Cruz. Stay tuned for more Pet Care TV. Yeah, that's quite